Hi guys, Glader here, and today I have another video on the RS317 Sharp client. And it's going to be a cool video today because we've got an initial implementation for the OpenGL client. It is really, really dirty. Quick and dirty, as you can see. Uh, the few lines of codes that you can see on the screen right here, total crap. But, I'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like. Now, here we go. This is actually rendering an OpenGL. Uh, not the way that you probably think. I wish I could say that those flames have been converted to a shader, but they haven't. It's rendering the textures through OpenGL instead of GDI, so... Um, it's not that awesome, but let's get into the game and then I'll show you what is awesome about this. And remember, I've only worked on this for a few hours, so uh, it's the best I could do. Alright, we're in the game. We can see that performance is still okay. And we can still do things. Menus still work. But, let me show you. Even though you're probably wondering, like, why does it not look awesome? Like uh, most OpenGL clients would. And that's because even in game, we're still rendering uh, the textures and pushing them to OpenGL. But, but, even just this allows us to do something awesome. You can't really see it, but there's actually some pseudo anti aliasing happening right now. And on top of that, if I click this button right here, we can resize the client. Yeah, so we have. Uh, a resizable as well as some anti-aliasing which if we didn't a pseudo anti-aliasing if we didn't have that you'd see quite a bit of jagginess uh, trust me and so yeah we've got resizable mode the the input doesn't work 100% yet for the resizable mode but you know for a few hours not knowing OpenGL and I, I didn't think I could do anything really but we ended up with this or resizable initial OpenGL implementation, which I think is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it. It's much better to play the game at full screen than that tiny little window. Well, that's the video for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Maybe one day I'll, I'll be able to take this game view that you see right here and, and you know, render it in OpenGL. Unfortunately, uh, this will be a lot harder. But maybe I will. Until next time.